I were to ask you, what is the capital of Australia, what would you say? Perhaps. <laughs> you all know, but you may think that the answer is Sydney. And if you did, you'd likely be very confident that this answer is correct. But what if I were now to tell you that the correct answer is, in fact, Canberra? How likely do you think you would be to learn and remember this information? I study learning and memory, and we often conduct such studies in the lab. And what we found is that the rate at which you're likely to learn and remember Canberra is directly related to how confident you initially were in Sydney. The more confident you are in Sydney, the more likely you are to remember Canberra. Now this is surprising, because this means that the more confident you are in your error, the more likely you are to learn. So my research question is, why? Now some theories have proposed that finding out you're wrong when you're highly confident is surprising. And the surprise leads to increased attention and enhanced encoding of the correct answer. But there's something else going on when we make high confidence errors. And that's how we feel about them. And how we feel is often curious. As stated by the esteemed psychologist Daniel Berlin in his seminal paper on a theory of human curiosity, curiosity can be thought of as the drive to know. And this drive to know motivates learning. But is curiosity at work when we learn the capital of Australia? And does curiosity increase with false confidence and lead to learning? Well, it turns out that it does. We conducted this study in our lab, and we found that not only was increased confidence in errors associated with increased curiosity, but curiosity in fact mediated the relationship between confidence and learning. Meaning that curiosity matters. Curiosity accounts for a portion of this learning effect. So what's the big picture, and what does this mean for our lives? Educators, business leaders, and eager individuals often ask, how can we foster curiosity in our students, our workers, and ourselves? One way, as my research suggests, is by not being afraid to make errors during practice. We can foster curiosity by taking on challenges in which we're likely to fail at first, making mistakes confidently and making them often, knowing that in fact, we're learning along the way. Thank you.